Hello. The weekend brought us plenty of dry and settled late spring weather. One or two showers around on Saturday for eastern England, but Sunday was dry pretty much across the board. This was the picture in Bradfield, Sheffield. We had a bit of fair weather cloud that bubbled up on Sunday. A bit of a change in the forecast, though, through the week ahead. It's looking more unsettled. Windier, wetter too, particularly for Western Scotland. Could be some rain by the middle of the week further south across England and Wales, where it's been very dry recently. And the star says that it's time to slap on the sunscreen as Britain faces its hottest summer ever. Well, he needs to go away then, eh? He's got a lovely sunrise behind him. Good morning, Matt. What's going on? I uh, have indeed. Good morning, Dan. Morning, Sad morning to you as well. Hope you had a good weekend. A lovely start, in fact, for some this morning as we kick off the new week. This is the view in Suffolk. Similar sort of picture across southern and eastern parts of England where we see the best of today's weather. Once again, if it's dry and warm, we warm weather you're after, but... North and west, we've got the return of some rain and a stronger breeze as well. And a glorious image behind you. Morning, Matt. Morning. Good morning, yes, and I've been paid here to uh, tell you and give you some uh, influence of what's coming on this week. It's a pretty wet and windy week for some, especially across western parts of Scotland. Not much rain across England and Wales, though there could be a little blip midweek, a welcome blip, you could say, for some. But out there this morning, we do have a little bit of frost to contend with across parts of East Anglia. You can see that on the ground here in Norfolk, but not much frost to come this week uh, once we've got uh, today out of the way. But a lovely sunny start to go with that frost in the southeast of the UK, but that wet and windy weather pushing in to the north and the west. I liked it as weather warm-up. A, a, bit, a, bit, a bit of a weather gate, is it? Continue the theme there of the politics. But anyway, it is sunny for uh, Adam and across much of the south and east. It's a view in Essex a short while ago. Warmer day today than we had through yesterday. But the opposite end of the scale... Grey skies, rain falling in Highlands at the moment, and today will be a bit of a southeast and northwest split as far as the weather is concerned. How many watches have you got on? <laughs> morning, Sally. You know what? I haven't got any at the moment, but uh, I'm safe to go in the car. Very good morning to you. Uh, hope you're all well. Hope you had a good weekend. Let's just give you a quick up sum of what's to expect this week weather wise compared with last week. Certainly windier, and it will be wetter around as well. But rainfall for parts of England and Wales where some desperately need at the moment is that big question mark. Let me just show you the rainfall chart for the week. Uh, you'll notice how the blues start to mount up, indication there will be some rain around. These uh, greens and yellows West Highlands is where we could see 100 to 150 millimetres of rain throughout the week. But notice across some southern eastern areas, the lighter blue colours, even the absence of them indicating little to no rainfall around at all. And the big question mark though could come on what happens on Wednesday though. There may be a little bit more than suggested here. Good morning, both morning. Another lovely spring day elsewhere, actually, for some at least. This is a view in Norfolk just a short while ago. Opposite end of the scale, though, the view in the Highlands this morning. Fort William looking decidedly soggy. There is some rain around and a bit of a northwest southeast split to come today across the UK, with rain creeping in across northern and western areas. So a big change of what you had through yesterday. But in the sunshine to the south and east, actually, can feel a bit warmer.